Today I would like to begin this mentorship class with a teaching on intercession and hearing the, ver the voice of God. Intercession and hearing the voice of God. This is a, another part of leadership that I desire to teach on. Amen. Before we can move successfully into any position of service, in the kingdom of God. We must embrace thy Lord's heart for his children to be one of humility, purity, serving with joy, honor, and unity. The Blessed One will call his servant into a season of consecration, isolation, pruning, and refinement to prepare him or her for service. For the Lord God must always be glorified in his vessels. The Spirit of Truth tells us in Romans chapter 8, verse 30, Moreover, whom he predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, he also justified, and whom he justified, he also glorified. Amen. Therefore, we know that we must be set apart in a season of consecration with thy Lord to be used in ministry for his glory. Amen. Let us now move on to part two of this teaching on intercession and hearing the voice of God. I must say, I uh, love teaching on intercession. I love uh, spending time with thy Lord. It has been a rough season, I must admit, in intercession. And we go through those seasons of discouragement and uh, just so much. So uh, a lot of assignments I have been given to steward in the earth realm. And that is impossible not to be... Uh, a, a battle at times I want to say properly or I just want to be quite honest and I, I'm, the spirit is leading me to just be honest in this area to encourage the intercessors just continue to stand stand therefore stand wherefore stare and put on your whole arm of God and when you don't think that you can do it just be still and know that he is God and he understands and he's already saw that day before it arrived and he's preparing for uh, someone else to uh, pray with you for you or, t or those assignments can wait until you're, you have the strength to resume some assignments. For me, I, I have um, had to juggle my heavy intercession assignment which I am most honored for. And this is how I really got into ministry is interceding. And I knew my call is, uh, first started out as a pastor and then I was ordained uh, naturally and, and as an apostle. And that, those things, it takes time. It, it, the intercession is one of the things that I uh, started out first doing and then that kind of ushered me into the will of God to finally be ordained in the ceremony as an apostle of the Lord and uh, that happened over 12 years ago and so for 12 years I have not had any uh, time off in intercession and so you can imagine birthing out ministries through me birthing children spiritual children through me leaders churches those things and the weight of um, a transition that occurred in my life, those things can really take its toll on us physically. And uh, to the place where we just don't have enough strength, it doesn't seem like. There's never enough strength or time to pray. And then that is where in the Holy Spirit we see His marvelous work. And he just gives us peace eventually. It'll come on us if we rest in him. And he will give us the guidance how to steward the intercession assignments he's given to us. And he's given all, us to own, us only to him. He trusts us. 
And he's not going to give those things away. If he's if you've built a trust with him and you're in a season where you're just not happy about in a session or you're feeling discouraged or for example, me, I have so many assignments and I'm also doing ministry. He'll wait on you. He'll wait until you have that time. And those assignments, they have a time and he knows what you were going to were you what you were going to go through ahead of time. And he will give you that time you need and and you'll go back to that intercession so i felt led of the lord just to share uh my experience before we began with intercession on after 12 years of really heavy intercession and um growing in this area of ministry and needing to take some time off from all the weight of it uh, the, thy Lord is faithful, and he'll, he, you will have him discouragement. Yes, I experience discouragement in prayer. <laughs> I do, and it is most marvelous when the Lord will come by you and encourage you and say, okay, now you can take your break. And so, um, be encouraged. I don't know how I even started off this, but this is the Spirit of the Lord. Be encouraged for the intercessors or um, can intercession can really wear out wear you out to the place where you're wondering how you can manage life and that Lord is not desiring that and so make sure that uh, you spend time with him alone and he will give you this strength to continue with your assignments okay one of the key foundations of intercession and this is something thy Lord has taught me, is direct discretion with your prayer assignments. Discretion with prayer assignments. This is where the trust from thy Lord comes in and where he will give you more assignments to pray as he begins to, as you begin to be faithful and, and trustworthy with what he gives you. And that is, and trustworthy, I mean, have discretion. As servants, we are to steward with love and faithfulness our prayer assignments. As the Lord's warriors, we are graced with His power, His strength, and His love to intercede. We cannot do it in the flesh or on our own. And when the Lord giveth us such honor to intercede, we are expected by heaven to carry out each assignment with integrity, honor, and discretion. We are also summoned with those assignments to stay on the wall as long as the Holy Spirit giveth us his burden. And you will know when it is done. You will know when you try to pray and nothing but ba 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 comes out or nothing comes out or there's nothing for me. I feel him and he's saying, Tanya, I'm finished there and you're still there. You know, that is kind of how he will work. That is how he will work in, in, in prayer. And so I want to um, encourage you that stay on the wall. And when you feel like you can't do it alone, he's asking you to trust him more. 